25 Morning News. She called 911 to report a possible break-in at the home of Harvard professor Henry Gates. It set off the national debate about race. It's that time of year again, and there's no better place to spend a gorgeous summer day than here at the beach. When President Barack Obama made his historic visit to Ghana, New Bedford resident Eric Pope was front and center for all of the action. Here in Hingham, stores such as CVS and Kohl's have seen a drastic increase on the amount of shoplifters. Police in the South Shore believe it is a direct result of the struggling economy. This is the coffee shop where UNH professor John Collins is arrested for child endangerment. There are normally tables outside, and Collins was parked right over there. Prosecutors say he was paying attention to his phone instead of the warning lights ahead of him. Two months after that green line crash, Aiden Quinn finally faces charges. I'm Rochelle Buser. Quinn's lawyer says prosecutors are using an obscure law to go after his client. But at least one victim believes Quinn needs to face the consequences. Fox 25's Diana Rocco has the details. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Former MBTA operator Aiden Quinn is escorted into Suffolk Superior Court by his attorney. To the war on terror now. The hometown of a captured U.S. soldier is passing out yellow ribbons as a sign of support. Private First Class Bowie Bergdahl went missing from his base near the Pakistan border earlier this month. The Pentagon confirmed that he was the soldier seen in a video recently posted on a Taliban website. It is not known how Bergdahl was captured. His kidnappers have not given any conditions for his release. A truck rolls over, bursting into flames. A family is trapped inside, and quick-thinking bystanders pull them out. It happened on a suburban street in Milwaukee after the car hit a tree. A mother and two children were locked inside. Witnesses, including two off-duty firefighters, smashed in windows and pulled the family out. Tonight, a four-year-old is in critical condition. The mother and the other child in the car suffered only minor injuries. Flames burned through the roof of an apartment complex in Texas, leaving nearly 70 people homeless. The first started early Sunday morning. Investigators think an improperly discarded cigarette is to blame. More than 100 firefighters worked on the building all day long through soaring temperatures. Some residents were able to salvage a few possessions from the burnt building, but no one can live there now. Severe storms pelt parts of Arizona, and the trauma is caught on tape. Take a look at these images as lightning bolts flash through the sky. A videographer was shooting the rain coming down sideways when he took a break to go inside. Moments later, a tree fell in the same spot. The storm prompted several flood advisories. Watching your favorite football team lose a big game could be bad for your health. Researchers at the University of Southern California compared cardiac-related deaths near Los Angeles after then Los Angeles Rams 1980 Super Bowl loss and 1984 Raiders Super Bowl win. Heart attacks, heart disease, and circulation-related deaths all rose in the two weeks following the loss and declined following the win. Researchers will next look at other sports to see if there is a similar result. Developing news in Washington where a group of key Democrats has reached a compromise on the health care reform with the White House. A group of conservative Democrats reached a deal that cuts the cost of the bill. Savings add up to more than $100 billion. Also today, President Obama hosted a town hall meeting on health care in North Carolina. He said, reform will protect people and limit the power of private insurers. Whether or not you have health insurance right now, the reforms we seek will bring stability and security that you don't have today. Reforms that will become more and more urgent with each passing year. Mr. Obama says the bill would extend health care coverage to 95 percent of Americans without raising federal deficits. Today's progress clears the way for a vote in September. We all like to think of our fathers as heroes, but when your dad fights off a mountain lion to save his family, you know you've got the real deal. Dustin Britton had a little help from his trusty chainsaw. The family was camping in Wyoming when the mountain lion attacked. As the father hid in the camper, the cat pounced. 
Britton says one swipe with the saw was all it took. I hit it with that saw and then it just, that was enough. It had enough and it left, which I didn't expect it was going to. I was real sure that it hit would just circle around and try again. The mountain lion suffered a gash on its shoulder. Wildlife officials later found it and put it down. They say it was emaciated, the likely cause for the rare attack on humans. Britain got away with just a puncture wound on his forearm. With sunny skies, friendly folks, and plenty of sand, it's safe to say Carson Beach has much to offer Bostonians. For Fox 25, I'm Rochelle Buser. Collins was released on $500 bail and is due to be in court tomorrow morning. When asked if he'd do it again, Collins replied, I don't know. Rochelle Buser, Fox 25 News. One thing is for sure, President Obama's visit is one the plan organization and the citizens of Ghana will not soon forget. For Fox News, I'm Rochelle Buser. For Fox 25, I'm Rochelle Buser. That will do it for the Fox 25 News. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again tonight at 5.